Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Joy Faye and today I want to do something a little bit different. I moved house now a month ago, just nearly a month ago. And you know, it's very interesting what happens when you move with the drama of it all and the upheaval and the chaos. And it's had a really interesting effect on my painting because I've I kind of felt as if I've lost direction, which is fascinating really. And um, I've been experimenting with lots of different things to find my place here and what I want to do and what I, you know, the direction I want to go to in my art. And as a result of this, I've been looking at some different ways of approaching. And one of the videos I watched yesterday has had really quite a profound effect on me and really kind of settled me down. And it was all about um, Zen painting. And, you know, I've looked at this before, but I've never really um, processed it properly. And it's, a you know, it's occurred to me that you know, when we're going through different traumatic situations and we feel sort of in that emotional upheaval, then it's it's a wonderful thing to channel that into something that maybe you haven't done before, but also a way of expressing yourself. And so last night I started experimenting with some of the things that this wonderful guy was talking about. The actual video was called Moving from Emptiness with a wonderful guy. I think you pronounce it a clock. But I'll put the information in the description below. But it was so gentle and lovely and it was very much about sort of healing yourself. And I've always believed that, you know, painting has is, is a great healer. It certainly started me on my journey of painting many, many years ago. In fact, probably 46 years ago with a very traumatic situation that happened to me when my son died as a baby. It was very sad. And the way that I um, process this whole trauma was through painting. And really since then, that's been in the back of my mind always, that whenever I'm going through difficult situations, my painting really helps me, you know, get rid of the anxiety and calms me down and gets rid of the stress. And, you know, with teaching for many years, um, many people that have come to my classes, um, you know, have gone through their own various traumas. and. This might be, you know, something relevant to you. And I hope that you will, you know, join me in sh while I'm sharing what I'm going to be doing because I feel that it, no matter where you are in your painting, I think it will give you a new perspective and a, just a new way of looking at what you're doing and how fulfilling it is for you, um, what you're expressing. So you don't go through those kind of frustrations and challenges with your painting that you sometimes can. And certainly for me, over the last two or three weeks since I've moved, I've been trying, I've got my studio organised, which is probably the only room at the moment that is. But I wanted to get that organised first so I can start painting. But it it's tended to go in interesting directions. If you saw my last video... You know, I went through a whole process to try and get that painting in the space that I wanted it to be. And it took me a long time because I was here, there and everywhere. And you might identify with that yourself. So I hope that what I'm going to share with you now, you'll um, really benefit from to give you uh, a new perspective and a new way of approaching your painting that gives you real peace of mind. One of the statements that this wonderful guy was talking about um, was um, how uh, painting can bring you peace, which is love. And I loved that. I really, that really resonated with me. So I'm hoping to share some of that peace and love 
with you today in this video. So let's get started. So just before we start, I just want to show you what I did last night, which uh, was interesting. Um, this was the first one that I did, and this was the second one. I um, hope you can see that okay. But what was even more interesting to me was that this is just um, um, an artist block uh, cartridge paper, quite thin, but it had come out on the other side. And I really liked, I really love this. I think it's it's very dynamic. I prefer it, what it's what's come through the paper to actually that. Um, I guess because, you know, there's lots of darks and lights in here. And um, this one was just very quick. And that one came out like this, which again, I really love because it's got real texture in it and, and dark and through the tones. It's got a real nice energy. This was the next one, which went a bit crazy. And I was experimenting with different strokes of the brush. But again, I love what happened here. Not so much that, but this I think is really lovely. And then this was the next one. Um, a lot of kind of energy in it. And, you know, what is important, my understanding, is um, from what I took from what this lovely guy was saying, was it's your energy. You bring your whole presence into um, the now, into the movement. And that's, you know, really, I don't know a huge amount of uh, about Zen philosophy. However, I do know that it's about being in the here and now. It's about being present with what is. And then when you paint, you get completely an authentic feeling of what you're feeling. And I kind of get the feeling with that. <laughs> and that came out, again, very interestingly, on the other side. <laughs> this was the next one I did. And I love the energy in here. It's really dynamic. And that came out, again, with a lot of lights and darks. So um, it was wonderful just to experiment. It didn't take me long because they're so quick. So, you know, my feeling about this is to do something like this to when, you, when you're when you going into, you know, doing your painting, either in your studio or where it is that you paint, you know, in the kitchen or on the dining room table, is to maybe just have um, a sketchbook dedicated to getting in the here and now, getting in that Zen moment. So when you're painting, you're absolutely coming from the heart and it's it's intuitive. And, you know, I'm very much into intuitive painting and helping people really, you know, go from inside out rather than outside in. You know, to have the confidence to actually put something on the paper and it's the results can be... Uh, miraculous. So um, that that was what happened last night. So I'm, I've set myself up here to do a few different experiments. Um, I've got some cartridge paper here which I've divided into four which is where I'm going to start and then I've got a watercolour block which is a new block <laughs> um, and um, we're going to go through, I'm going to use this block for these experiments, um, you know, for myself. And so that's going to be great. Um, so I also found a couple of old uh, brushes that I used to use in watercolour, which are the Chinese brushes. I would love to get some more and I'm going to go and explore that um, to see if I can get some more. So this is a small one, it looks a little bit tatty. Let's just have a look. Oh, it'll come to a point. And then this one is a bit bigger. And then I thought, until I get the right brushes, I found this decorator's brush, which I've had lying around for a while. So I'm going to have a go with that and a kind of a smaller version. Um, so we will see. And I have some China ink, Artist it's Tinta China. So it's just black chi um, Chinese paint. 
and um, I've got some that I've watered down. It's very, um, this is kind of obviously going to come out more grey. And then I'm going to put some in here, uh, just straight, just the straight black. And um, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to have to get some more of this too, I think. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have a play, uh, see what happens. I've also got uh, some packing paper, uh, which I've cut up. <laughs> into just little bits to use as getting getting rid of the stuff on the brush and I can also use it for collage paper or whatever so I've got that uh, ready I just the only thing I need is uh, uh, I've just got some napkins here to wipe the brush so let's have a go um, I'm going to start with the small one now the main um, the main part of this is to breathe, is to be present with the present moment. So I'm, I'm literally going to just take a breath, see how I'm feeling, and uh, I'm just going into the black and I'm going to see what happens. Oh, it's a lovely, again, there's a lovely energy in that. Now, if I say what I want to paint, so what is, is my intention? So I could say, I, I want to paint um, how I feel right now, in this moment, right now. Again, <laughs> um, it's lovely, it's just coming without even, you know, a second thought. Now I'm going to actually change the brush and I'm going to go to the big one and I will go into the one I've watered down, the ink with the water and let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to paint for here, um, let's think of something that I really feel, uh, happiness, whoa, <laughs> there we go. And um, let's have another one here. How do I feel when I think of my art? How much I love my art. So about love, really. Hmm. Isn't it nice how these things work? Now, it just lets, obviously, the, the brush is bigger, so the strokes are bigger. But the difference between using the... The, the, the ink watered down and the solid ink. So I'm going to let those dry, <laughs> but they're lovely feelings and I don't want to do anything else with them at the moment. What I'm thinking about, which is um, something you might think about, is using this kind of thing to start a painting. So you've got, um, uh, a direction, you've got a prompt to then move into a painting, which we're going to try. So I'm going to take this off the brush here. Again, I can do something great on the collage paper with this brush. And um, I'm going to take it off the other one too. So let's go on to the... Um, I'm going to leave this to dry and I'm going to go on to the uh, block. Right. <clears throat> so I will start with, with two pages and then we can, um, we can see what happens here. So I've got a decision. I could cut this into four or I could have it just as it is to do the two. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I'm going to start with this one. Uh, let's come this way. And I'm going to use the big brush and I'm going to use just the black paint. Just, sorry, just the black ink for this one. I'm going to take a lovely deep breath and then go. 
Hmm. Lovely shapes, aren't they? I mean, you could never think this. This is the wonderful thing about it. You just can't think this through. It happens in its pure spontaneity, which is, you know, what we're going for. So now let me go to this side and I'm going to go with the big brush again, but I'm going to go into the water, uh, the, the ink mixed with the water. So again, a nice deep breath. Wow, <laughs> feel the energy. It's fantastic. I really, I'm really enjoying how this feels and the shapes that are coming up. Isn't this great? And I hope that you're getting this and I really hope that you will um, experiment yourself to see how you, um, how you approach this yourself. So if we're, I think we're more or less dry. So I'm going to just hold that here and I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do that here. And again, deep breath. Hmm, wonderful shapes. You know, one could do a whole, <laughs> a whole book of these and have a whole series of wonderful emotions. And you can imagine, you know, how that would, how that would work. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I'm really fascinated. So I'm going to take this off here. And I'm going to rinse that out. Now, the next one I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do with um, the big brush. And I think what I actually I might do here, is it nearly dry? Yeah, nearly, I'll hold it. So I'm going to use this brush <laughs> and let's see what might happen with this one. So I'm just going to go into the water one, the, the ink mix with water with this big brush. And you know, it's wonderful to be experimenting just to see what might happen. Okay, deep breath. Whoa, <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, this is brilliant. I love this. Can you imagine doing this on a big canvas? How that would feel? Brilliant. So, <laughs> We're getting some really interesting um, results and I'm really enjoying how this is how this is working and you know what what you can do with it to um, you know let go and let's see where the other one is here isn't that great so um, I'm going to come back now and do a bigger one um, and see what happens with that. So I've got another really big piece of paper here. This is again uh, cartridge paper. So having warmed up, having got into that flow, I now want to take it an, another step further and maybe use all the different brushes on the paper doing different things. So I'm going to start with that big brush again because I really like that. And let's just see where we go to actually start a painting and experiment a little. So again, nice deep breath, be in the here and now. Oh, great, love it. I'm going to just take this off on here. Okay. Then, uh, I think I'm going to use this one now. I mean, I like this just as it is, <laughs> but you know, for the experiment's sake, I think it will be interesting to take it another step further and see what might happen with that. So I'm going to just go into the ink, not the water. And again, deep breath. Mm. 
great. It's so nice to be using something other than a normal brush or the normal tools that we might use. So, you know, I'd really recommend experimenting. And these are just simple decorators brushes, which, you know, you can get um, very easily um, and great. I'm really pleased. <laughs> so now let's try something else with this. I'm loving what's going on. I've got some interesting marks happening. So let's kind of capitalize on that. And see all different kinds of things that we can do. Now what I'm also really excited about for doing this kind of thing I mean, I've been doing intuitive paintings for a very long time, but not in this way. And um, I feel that, you know, there's something really to be gained from this kind of experiment. And I'm actually doing a intuitive, a creative art retreat. Um, in fact, I'm doing two this year. And we're combining it with yoga and meditation. And I think this is just absolutely wonderful to add a new dimension to our intuitive painting. And uh, be lovely if you, if you feel inspired and you want to really take this another step forward, then come and join us. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a brilliant time. So um, if you're interested, I'll leave some of the information in the description and you can have a look. It's going to be in Spain. We've, um, we've got this beautiful uh, Cortico, which is like a big Spanish villa. And um, it, the gardens have been designed um, like the Alhambra Palace in Granada. So it's a beautiful location and lends itself to being creative and... Uh, intuitive and oh, connecting to ourselves. So now I'm going to use this little brush and see what we might do with this. Again, interesting. <laughs> well, we're having fun and uh, <laughs> Lots of energy in here, it's great. And I think, you know, it's going to be even better if we then actually paint on it. I want to do something else here, and here, and here, and here, and here. Whew. Okay, I think I'm going to let this dry and then we might have an experiment with colour on it. Let's see what might happen if we do something in colour. So I'll come back to you. Um, I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee, relax, take a breath. I feel really energised and excited. And um, I'll be back when it's dried. Okay, so I've come back to it now and I've put it on the easel. And yeah, it's kind of a very interesting, <laughs> energetic start and then I thought well you know what I'm going to turn it around and see you know you start to see let's put it this way start to see different things going on in it and my feeling is that I wanted to put some colour on it today but I feel that I'd like to just leave it for a little while, meditate on what I've done and see the next phase. So rather than rush it, I'm going to do part two <laughs> with the colours. I think I'm going to leave it for the time being and let myself process. And I think this is a really good idea when you're painting. We're not in a rush, you know, it's not a race to the finish line. And because I've kind of feel this calmness and yet excitedness about this pain this this kind of approach to beginning a painting um i want to kind of stay with that and rather rush into it and do 
load of colour on it now. I want to just feel what colours I want to use, how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do that in part two. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait till next week and um, if not before, but probably next Monday and um, see what we do with it next. But please take on board this, you know, I, 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 you can tell that I feel excited about it and that there's so much, um, what would, how would I describe it? It's bringing me so much more than just painting and mark making and colour. It's bringing me something that's deep within me and I hope that that is translating to you. I really want it to because it's such a wonderful feeling and I do feel that much calmer having had all this chaos going on, um, trying to sort the house out and you know getting familiar with the new surroundings with how everything works uh, I've been in a real kind of two and six with everything and this has kind of brought me into a whole new space and I'd love it um, you know that it can do the same thing for you so leave me a comment tell me how you feel about doing this process ask any questions but it would be lovely to hear how you know, your feeling um, about this kind of process. And that would be great. So and press the subscription, uh, you know, all that stuff that you have to do, but then you'll know when the next video comes out. So thank you for watching. I'll leave all the information in the description about that video that I've been inspired with about the retreat and all the other great things that I'm doing with my painting. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week painting and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.